2024 Porsche 718 Spider RS First Drive, a stunning open-top driving experience. There's more to life than a lap time. And the 2024 Porsche 718 Spider RS emphatically proves the point. Porsche GT division boss Andy Preunja freely admits the new Spider RS won't be the quickest of the 718s developed at Porsche's in-house hotshop around a racetrack. But after sampling this joyous little roadster on road snaking through Germany's scenic Schwabisch Alb, we're here to say, so what? The 2024 Porsche 718 Spyder RS is the finest open-top street legal car the company has ever built. In fact, this might be the finest open-top street legal car Porsche will ever build. That's not merely because the Spyder RS is the last 718 to be launched with an internal combustion engine. It's because that engine is the charismatic naturally aspirated 4.0-liter flat 6 from the Spintingling 911 GT3 and the track-dedicated 911 GT3 Cup racer. What is it, exactly? The 2024 Porsche 718 Spyder RS is a fitting last hurrah for the internal combustion engine in the German automaker's mid-engine sports car platform, Preunja said with a smile on his face and sadness in his eyes. Building light and powerful roadsters is what Porsche has done from day one, he said, and we chose the best engine we think we have for the ultimate roadster. Indeed, it did. Though the flat 6 makes marginally less power and torque than it does in the 911 GT3, thanks to the different exhaust and cooling system layouts dictated by its mid-engine location in the chassis, the 718 Spider RS engine, identical in spec to that of the 718 Cayman GT4 RS, is a Porsche power plant for the ages. It makes 331 pound-foot of torque at a heady 6,250 rpm and 493 horsepower at a race face 8,400 rpm as it sings to the same dizzying 9,000 rpm redline as in the 911 GT3. Yeah, it loves to rev. And that's one reason the new 718 Spider RS comes only with a short ratio version of Porsche's 7-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission. The transmission's lightning-quick upshifts and razor-sharp rev-matching on downshifts perfectly suit the engine's hyper-alert demeanor. The other reason? The manual transmission used in regular 718s can't handle the GT3 engine's power and torque. Brake and suspension specifications also mirror those of the 718 Cayman GT4 RS, with a couple of key exceptions. The Spider's spring rates are 55% and 43% softer front and rear, respectively, with damper and anti-roll bar settings adjusted to suit, and the ride height is 1.2 inches lower compared with the regular Boxster, while the GT4 rolls 2.0 inches lower to the tarmac than a standard Cayman. The softer suspension dictated minor changes to the steering setup, as well. Steering is very much influenced by the stiffness of the springs, said Preunja, who explained the Spider RS setup is meant to feel less dirty than the GT4 RS the moment you pull the steering wheel off center. We have tried to make it as linear as possible, he said. I want to feel the forces in the steering rods, I want to feel how much side load, how much lateral acceleration the tire can take before it gives up and goes into understeer. Something in the air. The other big difference between the 2024 Porsche 718 Spyder RS and the Cayman GT4 RS is in the aerodynamic setup. For aesthetic reasons the Roadster doesn't get the towering, fixed rear wing that makes the coupe's track day intentions crystal clear. Instead, there's a large ducktail spoiler whose form echoes the original fitted to the iconic Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. The ducktail produces less downforce than the GT4 RS wing, and so to preserve the aero balance, the Spider RS front splitter is 2.0 inches shorter, and the downforce-inducing vanes under the front floor are removed. Summing up the changes, Preunja said the development engineers were very keen on making the 718 Spider RS a drivable road car that can live with lumpy back roads as well as being fun to drive on smooth racetracks. They have succeeded, and did so brilliantly. The 718 Spider RS may be tuned for the road, but it's scarcely compromised. There are few open-top cars this side of a Lamborghini Huracan Evo RWD Spider that can match the intoxicating involvement this Porsche Roadster delivers. 
Drive it, feel it. It's not just that the 2024 Porsche 718 Spider RS will zip to 60 miles per hour in a scant 3.2 seconds and hit 191 miles per hour. Similar to the Cayman GT4 RS, the Spider RS Air intakes are mounted outboard of the rollover bars behind your head, making the 4.0-liter engine sound louder and angrier and edgier than it does in a 911 GT3, like the soundtrack of a classic air-cooled Porsche Flat 6 race engine played through a distortion pedal and a stack of Marshall amps at Spinal Tap volume. Also like the Cayman GT4 RS, it's almost too loud. You won't want to schlep the 718 Spider RS along the interstate all day. But that's not what it was designed to do. No, the 718 Spider RS is meant for short, roof-down sorties along quiet, winding two lanes. It has the talent to enable you to drive it as hard as you dare when circumstances allow and the manners to allow you to enjoy the glorious responsiveness of the powertrain and chassis even when loafing along at little more than six tenths. Either way, you'll have a big smile on your face. It's a car you can't help but love to drive. True, the GT3 engine, while tractable around town, can feel a little sleepy on the open road if you're cruising with the PDK transmission in automatic mode and want to pass slower traffic, despite the short gearing that means it's turning about 3000 RPM at 70 mph in 7th gear. But nudge the shifter to the left to put the transmission into manual mode, select sport mode, there is no sport plus, keep the engine spinning at 4000 rpm or more, and the 718 Spider RS comes alive. The PDK gearbox's rapid fire response means it's easy to keep the engine in its happy place, and with that 9000 rpm red line, this Porsche Roadster has a vivid 5000 rpm power band to work with. The PDK fits the car almost better than any manual, Preyun just said, telling comment from the man whose trend-defying 911 R paved the way to keeping the stick shift alive in modern 911s. The PDK allows you to plunge the Spider RS deep into corners, left foot braking to make the most of the abundant front-end grip, and it enables you to go to power much quicker than you can in a three-pedal car. The softer suspension means the Spider RS feels a touch more composed than the GT4 RS on rough roads and has better traction out of bumpy corners. Yet there's no noticeable roll, dive, or squat in reaction to inputs from the steering, brake, and throttle. Chassis rigidity is also impressive, especially given the fact the car's body structure has no additional bracing over the Cayman GT4 RS. The standard Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, 245-35 up front and 295-30 at the rear, on 20-inch wheels, deliver terrific grip, though when it's raining you need to be watchful of white lines and standing water. And yes, if you must, you can drive the 718 Spider RS in the rain. It just takes a little preparation. Practical matters. Making the 718 Spider RS cockpit weatherproof involves unpacking and unrolling a bimini top that's secured to the windshield header rail with a single clip and to two location points hidden under the rear deck lid. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.